All right, so today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Viper 10 for the HTC 10. For those of you with an HTC 10, uh, this is an excellent ROM. The Viper team has been making some great ROMs for all the HTC devices. Uh, I think they actually don't make for any other devices. Now this is running the latest Android 6.0.1 along with the latest build. All right, you can install it on any uh, Galaxy, sorry, on any HTC 10. Uh, build number based on 1.80.41.1, blah, blah, blah. All right, uh, all the tweaks you'll find under Venom Tweaks app here, where you'll be able to customize your status bar, such as uh, change, uh, reorder your quick settings, add new options there, a header, customize a header. Um, you can add double tap to sleep. All of this stuff you, you would usually find in an AOSP ROM, they got it baked in. Now this is based on HTC Sense ROM. Um, also, if you go into home screen, uh, you can go ahead and choose your theme here, all right, for icons and stuff. And also you can change the layout from four by four, four by five. Um, some additional stuff you can mess with down here. Actually, there's a ton of stuff. Also, you can go ahead and customize pretty much all the colors of your status bar. All right, um, clock color, all of these options available for icons. Also for lock screen, you can enable the older Jelly Bean lock screen if you want. I don't know why you would want to do that, but um, you can also bypass the uh, lock screen carrier label. Uh, right now I have an AT&T chip. You can go ahead and put high on Android if you want. Buttons and gestures, uh, three finger gestures also. You can also customize the volume keys. Also, you can go ahead uh, and turn off or turn on the vibration for fingerprint if you want. Also, you can uh, customize all of the buttons, right? Double press internal, double press actions, uh, all that good stuff. That is very nice. Uh, fake IMEI, interesting. You can actually fake IMEI um, to certain apps. I don't know why you would want to do it, but I guess it can be kind of useful. Some extra, extra stuff. Um, Notification colors, it's camera JPEG quality. I guess if you increase this 100%, you can get a little bit better quality. That's kind of cool, right? Home and power screenshot. And if we go into advanced, advanced, ah, advanced, um, there's some advanced options. OTA update, you can also update once you install the ROM, you can go ahead and update over there. Uh, CPU tweaks, not too much going on here, but you can go ahead and increase your read ahead size a little bit. They may, that may increase the performance a little bit. All right, also you got Pi controls if you wanna use uh, Pi controls. There we go, it's actually LMT Pi controls. Boom shakalaka. So a lot of fun options. Um, now this is one of their first versions and it should get better as we go along. But let me go ahead and show you how to install it. HTC 10 installation is a little awkward. All right, also the power button. Um, you can access extreme saver, full screen mode, all these options here. If you go into restart, you can go straight into recovery. All right, go ahead and download ROM, copy it over to your phone, uh, boot into the bootloader. If, you're, if you don't have a custom ROM installed, hold down volume down in the power, let go when you see the logo, keep holding down the volume down. And when you're in the bootloader, uh, the fast boot mode, choose go to bootloader, and then choose go to recovery, and you should be good to go. All right, if you see password, that's because um, you have to decrypt it. Don't worry about it. Uh, swipe to allow modifications, that's very important. Make sure you back up everything. You'll need to use an SD card uh, or OT OTG cable, like I'm doing here. I got a USB Type-C OTG cable and a flash drive that's, uh, that I'm using to back up the current a stock ROM. And once you swipe, go ahead and select the storage. I'm sorry, select the storage and then swipe either micro SD card or USB OTG. Make sure you make a backup. Please make sure you make a backup. I hope I repeat myself enough here. All right, make a backup. All right, after you've backed up, you can go ahead and you don't have to do a wipe. Just go to install um, and go ahead and put the ROM actually on a micro SD or like USB OTG like I got it here because you will not be able to read uh, the storage because your phone's uh, encrypted. That's the way it works on ACC 10, which is a little, uh, which sucks. 
So go ahead and download it onto your OTG or uh, copy it to your SD card. And now I can select it, install. Uh, everything from here on is straightforward, but I just wanna show you all the different options you can do with the Viper uh, 10 ROM. All right, um, this is a Roma graphical installer. And there should be a ton more ROMs right now. I haven't really seen any ROMs that I really wanna use, but this is just one of the ones I'm using now. Uh, it's a pretty good ROM, all right, agree. Next, let me adjust the camera real quick. Next, install Viper 1. Um, do a full wipe if you're installing it uh, from scratch, all right? And also um, you can do stock or Viper. I recommend the Viper 1 configuration. Um, make sure you install Sound Boost Mod. That will give you a boosted sound for your headphones. Uh, also when you have call. Boot animation if you want Viper boot animation. All right, uh, if you want to remove bloatware, make sure you check that. Uh, all additional options all here. All right, um, choose the apps you don't want. Right, if you want to debloat all these apps, pretty much it. Also, um, choose the apps you do want to install if you want to reinstall all these HTC bloatware. Blank feed, I hate blank feed. Sorry, I just don't like it. All right, um, also, you can choose your carrier. You can leave it at default and set it, uh, set the APM by yourself. That's pretty much it. Hit next, next, uh, install, reboot. Um, you should be good to go. All right, make sure you make a backup to your USB flash drive or whatever. Otherwise, uh, you may regret later down the road. That's pretty much it. A Viper 10 ROM for HCC 10. Highly recommend it. Um, I will keep trying new ROMs, but for right now, this is the best one I found so far. And as always, stay on Android. Hi, click here to subscribe. Click here to subscribe.